Hi guys, this is Yuritsa and I have a really quick tip to share with you today. I kind of had an aha moment the other day. I was shopping at Michael's on Tuesday mornings and I found the Making Memories Magnetic Stamp Kits on clearance. So I got them because I've been wanting them for a while and um, I couldn't find them around. But Michael's had the stamp system on clearance for $4 so you get the handle. And then you get the actual stamp mount in different sizes depending on how large of a sentiment you're wanting to write out. I got that at Michael's for four. And then I went to Tuesday mornings and they had the stamp for five dollars. So as you can see, you get a lot of stamp. You get various of the same letter. And then you also get numbers and then, you know, the punctuation marks. So I got that. And then I started to think I had these stamps for Michael's. The ones that look like this, you get them in the dollar spot. And once they're opened and pulled apart, you can't really store them without them falling everywhere. And, you know, it's getting messy. So then I was like, well, why don't I turn them into magnetic stamps? So that's what I did. So here are some of them that I already did turn into magnetic stamps. And it's so easy to do. You're gonna need a couple of things. The first thing is really thin magnetic tape. And I have two options for you. The first option is you can buy the roll of magnetic tape, which is really, really, really thin. I mean, you can see how thin that magnetic tape is. And I've had this for a while. I got mine at Big Lots. It's made by Siren. Or you can go to Michael's and buy the laminating and magnetic cartridges at the cell for the sticker machines. So I have mine for my nine inch machine. It's called, you know, laminate magnet. And you get 10 feet of it. And the magnet paper is just as thin as the tape. Let me open it up to show you. Now, of course, if you're just looking to get it just to make these stamps, you can buy the smaller magnet laminating cartridges it just, it just so happens I have the 9 inch machine. But you can see how thin it is. It's just as thin as the tape. I think maybe a little stronger, but it's just as thin. You need thin magnetic sheets. So once you get that, you simply take your stamps and just pull them apart. And just gently start peeling them off the block. Now, if it rips, it's okay because you can just put it on the magnet she sheet, you know, piece by piece until it kind of forms a square. So it, it ripped a little bit right there, but that's no big deal. And then you just position it on your magnet and take a pair of scissors and just trim really close. And that's how easy it is to turn these little stamps into magnet stamps. And now you can store them really easily. To store them, I had these containers just laying around my craft room. And I didn't realize they were magnetic, but they sure are. Yeah. Yeah. They're magnetic. Or you can buy the Making Memory ones. They look like this. And it's magnetic stamp tin to store your magnetic stamps. And I got these at um, Tuesday mornings for $2. So I picked a couple of those and then I'm using these that I had laying around already. And if sometimes the stamp peels off of the, of the foam. Oh, let me see if I can show you. No, this one wants to stick. All right, that didn't work. Let me see if I can find one that's coming off. No, oh, that one didn't either. That one. See how it just came off like that? It's not a big deal. What I do is I finish peeling the foam off the block. I take the foam, put it on the magnet tape, take a few dabs of super glue, put it on the foam right in the center. You don't need much. And then take your stamp and glue it back. Just give it a few seconds for it to dry. And then just trim around it. See? 
And that's how easy it is. So now I can go and get more. They're so inexpensive. They're a dollar. And if you get them with those 20% coupons, you know, 20, 80 cents for these cute little stamps. And I'm awful about being able to stamp them, you know, just like that. So this is going to make it so much easier because I can, I can just put it on these magnetic mounts and stamp. So that's it. That's my quick tip for you today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.